So here we are at Tom Wood's house, and I've heard he's got some very interesting hobbies. Nolly, I think we should go and check this out. First of all, what's that? <laughs> the world's <laughs> biggest car that I couldn't even get into, to be fair. And it's not just you, is it, Mr Wood? Uh, it's your friend as well. Partner in crime. Who started it? To be fair, I've just been into it my whole life, really, and it's only since I moved to this place and had space to kind of spread out into and start making uh, some more serious stuff and accumulating all these tools that it started to get a bit more serious. And it started just as a hobby, um, just making things for friends and family, Christmas presents and stuff, and uh, just experimenting. And as you can see, it's not just woodworking, it's like chainsawing, trucks, fishing, hunting and shooting. <laughs> Just all round, just uh, just rednecking, really. So you've, you've kind of taken the rednecking to the stream in terms of your hairstyle. And are you going to be growing your beard this year? Or is it, <laughs> I've been hair? growing my beard for about 29 years. <laughs> 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 I'm a, yeah, a little follow-up challenge in that, in that aspect. But, uh, <laughs> no, like what he said, he's, he's really obsessive and he takes everything to the next level. I'm slightly behind. I'm still very redneck, but not quite to the point where I'm chucking spears at, at the wall. How do your families feel that you actually just are never apart? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that's more of a question for them. We love it. So, uh, it's, uh, no, it's very, it's very much uh, get home, uh, play with the family, see the kids, and then uh, and get in the workshop uh, when everyone goes to bed, more or less. I think they understand that we're trying to better ourselves and uh, and and looking at a career post rugby or something that could help us post rugby, and. Um, and they're very supportive, so. Uh, My strategy thing. is basically just bring them along for the ride. So whatever I'm doing, if I'm out in the truck and I'm over the farm and we're off-roading, they're just in the truck with me. If they're in trouble, they're in here sweeping. You know, whatever it is, I just find find something for them to, Including the to get involved. Yeah, yeah, yes, because, yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. As impressive as this is, I've heard there's a few things in the back garden as well. Yeah, that's not the only truck. That's that's a small one, to be honest. We can go out and have a look if you like. There's uh, there's the workshops kind of spilled out out there as well. Yeah, the shed and some, uh, yeah, some there's some pieces. The way. As you saw on the way in, that's the Land Cruiser. That's that's the daily drive. Um, if there's a black tie dinner to go to or something, that's the one we roll in. Um, family trips. Yeah, the seats can go down. We can make it into a limo for special occasions. So that's the uh, the military Unimog. Uh, got the crane on the back for lifting the heavy duty logs and things. Excuse the mess. I know it's. It's like a scrapyard. So we call this the aircraft hangar, but it's basically a, a shed with no walls, and it just keeps all the wood dry, really, and gives me an area to work. I've got power out here and a light, so I can um, flatten these slabs and things. It's, uh, it's pretty time consuming. Alex, how important do you think it is to have something to switch off from rugby? Does that help you a bit? Yeah, definitely. I think it's really important. Like Some lads do different things. You know, boys like playing the Xbox. You know, I'd, I'd probably advise against that. It's probably not the most useful uh, use of, the, of time for those young boys, but um, but we really enjoy this sort of stuff. It's a practical skill that we're learning. Uh, a load of the boys actually are doing a course now. Um, hopefully they've taken some inspiration off me and Willie are doing a course at Moulton, the local college, uh, learning how to fix uh, fix up their houses. So I think it's good just to switch off from the game, take away, because it's so intense now. You're in at seven, finish about four, and it's just go, go, go. So those hours that you get to yourself, you're really nice, just, just take a step back from rugby and switch off. So this stuff isn't quite ready. Is there anything that you guys have made? Yeah, I've got a few bits that are either getting ready for Christmas or on their way out the door soon, so they're, uh, they've got the finishing touches on if you have a look. After you. This is really impressive. Um, yes, yeah, so this is just a small sample of the stuff we do, and to be honest, we don't have a um, like a remit. We just People message me on Instagram or we just meet people locally and they say, oh, can you make us one of those? Or I've seen something, you know, some inspiration on Pinterest or whatever. Do you think you could have a crack at it? Um, sometimes, it, you know, again, a bit hippie-ish, but oh, look, let the wood talk to you. You know, if you see a nice piece of wood, <laughs> Is you that like, what you say to people when you meet them? Yeah, yeah like the word talk to <laughs> Well, if you've got a lovely nice oak slab with like lots of colouring and grain and interesting stuff going on, you don't want to chop that up into little bits like this, say. You want to let it be as it is. So did this bit say, please make me into it? Yeah, that, that said, use some old shotgun shells and just uh, don't clean me up too much and I'll just hang on a wall, coat rack. Do you actually ever buy any Christmas presents? Or... Try not to. No, not really. <laughs> Try not to. Um, <coughs> if it can possibly be made out of wood or welded, we do our best. Um, but occasionally, you do have to dip in your pocket and get someone an actual well, gift. Kind of okay. the wife wearing wooden jewellery all the yeah, time. I try my please. best. No. <laughs> Alex, club captain, it's been an awesome season so far. Top of the Premiership, won your first two games. Surely this could be Northampton's year. Um, yeah, I think. Look, we're not getting ahead of ourselves by any stretch. I think we're playing really well. Uh, there's a good mix of youth and experience in the squad at the moment. You see the likes of Rory Hutchinson, uh, Grace stepping in late notice against Leicester last week. Um, that just breeds competition throughout the squad and puts pressure on the, on the, on the senior boys, uh, the likes of Biggs and, and the other boys to, to really perform, just to keep their spot because the, the young boys are chasing it. Um, but I don't want to say it's not going to be our year. I don't want to say it is because I think 
It's a long, long season. Yeah, we've had a great start, um, but there's still plenty of rugby to play. But um, uh, we're quite confident with our form at the moment, um, and we're looking forward to testing ourselves, and it's probably one of the best teams in Europe this weekend. Right, thanks for showing us around, lads. Good luck this weekend. I think we better get our Christmas orders in. Yep, awesome. I didn't take that one. <laughs>